Well, good morning. Welcome to Revelation 20. I don't know if you've noticed lately, but the earth is dying. With satellites, we see things like there's a mass of plastic floating out between us and Australia in the Pacific. It's the size of the state of Texas. It's plastic and styrofoam. It's in a gyre. You know what a gyre is? It's an ocean current that goes in a circle, and it kind of collects all the garbage that, that every time there's a typhoon or a hurricane, it washes across the beach, gets all that junk, it goes out in the ocean, it floats around, and it collects out there in the Pacific Ocean. That, they found, is just one small example of what's going on right now all over the world. When you think about it, what humanity has done to the world. First, you know, they started using wood to do things with, so they cut down all the forests. Then they found coal, and they did strip mining. You ever seen strip mining from above? They, they take all the topsoil off, and they strip the coal out, and what's left looks like the moon. And then they discovered oil. Do you remember oil? It used to be if you just poked a pipe in the ground in Oklahoma, it would come out of the ground, and it just covered the top surface. Today, in Siberia, you know, in Russia, there are just lakes of black petroleum, oil, on top of the ground. It kills everything in sight. Things, animals, plants can't live in oil. And then what do we have now? Solar. Do you know what's happening today? The first generation of solar panels are coming off of houses in California. Do you know how poisonous those solar photoelectric transmission uh, films of, of uh, what is it, lithium, and I don't even know what all's in it but they're taking them off the homes and putting them in landfills, no less. And that stuff is totally toxic. Do you know what's worse? The batteries that are inside of electric cars. They're great when they're in the car, but have you noticed that on every airplane they say, do you have a lithium battery in your bag? Take it out because it might spontaneously, what? Start on fire. All over New York City, those electric bikes are starting on fire. They have reports every week of an electric bike exploding on fire and causing some kind of a disaster in some apartment building where the people brought it into their apartment and left it and started on fire. Why am I saying all this? Everything fallen humanity touches gradually causes a problem and leads to death. The earth is dying. In Mexico City today, do you know what happens regularly? Pigeons flying through the air drop to the ground in front of people. They die from the pollution in the air in Mexico City. Not just there. There are cities in India, in China, and before long, there'll probably be cities in America where birds die from all the chemicals and the toxins that are up there. But the good news is a perfect earth is coming, and I want to read to you about that. That's chapter 20. Now, in your... Remember the chapter content I showed last week that I said you're going to have to match? Millennium is chapter 20, but it's only the first six verses. And I saw an angel coming down from heaven, having the key to the bottomless pit and a great chain in his hand. And he laid hold of the dragon. Now, verse 2 is very interesting. It connects it all together. The dragon, that serpent of old. What's that? That's Genesis 3. You know, Eve, uh, the serpent in the garden. Uh, who is the devil? Who's that? That's Matthew chapter 4. That's the one that came to Jesus in the wilderness and tempted him. And Satan, who is that? Paul said, Satan's always thwarting me and resisting everything I'm doing. Satan, the adversary of God. And bound him, look what verse 2 says, for a thousand years. Verse 3, and cast him into the bottomless pit and shut him up and set a seal on him so he should deceive the nations no more. There's what Satan does. Whenever Satan is loose, he deceives the nations. Now, yesterday, his two biggest viruses he infects people with are religion, that they can find their own way to God, make their own way to God, do it themselves, you know, instead of God's way, or materialism. And that's, I mean, if you think about it, if everybody still lived on a farm with a cabin and growing food, we wouldn't have all this pollution. It's the idea of materialism that I want a bigger cabin, and I want more farms, and I want to make more money, and I don't want to work, and I want other people to work for me, that Satan infects people with. And when he's, look at this, he doesn't deceive, verse 3, the nations anymore, till the, and there's the second time that term shows up, the thousand years were finished. But after these things, he must be released for a little while, 
And then it goes into this thousand year period. That's what we're gonna cover this morning. What a time to share the gospel. Uh, Earth is dying and only God can fix it. I don't think it's Christians that should be going around the world protesting and saying they don't believe in climate change. You already know the earth is gonna die. That's what the whole tribulation is about. God allows the natural direction things are going to just amplify. And when that happens, it's unbelievable to watch. Now, I'm just gonna give you some news headlines. This is the amazing fire uh, that went on in, two years ago. The deadly heat waves that are blasting the US and Europe are raising fresh concerns about rising global temperatures to people. There are also risk of rising temperatures for nature. Many will remember the shocking wildfires of Australia that killed or displaced three billion animals. That was just two years ago. I mean, it just, it's almost like, it's almost like you know, reruns or something. It's so long ago, two years. But the truth is, our rapidly warming planet, you have to admit, from 1850 to 2024, that's how long they've been recording the weather. Watch, 1850. 2024. Every indicator, the number of tornadoes, typhoons, hurricanes, and the mean temperature, global temperature, every indicator, forest fires, droughts, famines, every indicator, they're going on a projection that is more steep than the crypto in the stock market. It's just like that. So you can't deny it's happening. Now, you know, Christians might say it's not human fault or, you know, whatever. It's okay. We can say that we're processing the numbers, but the, the greatest thing for Christians is we're supposed to be the ones that are advocating truth. And the truth is, God says, in the future, the whole world's going to burn. The, all the oceans are going to die. All the animals are going to die. Uh, Humanity is going to be scorched by the sun. But all the Christians go around and say, it's not true. There's no global warming. The ultimate global warming is just ahead of us. So this is an amazing thing to see.